everyone, welcome to another video. I'm actually really excited for this one because it's the Morph Gauntlet add-on, which is, you know, Morph mod. One of the most popular Java mods, and I actually tried to look for this before, like, uh, the Marketplace came out. Because uh, uh, the video know it was possible to get add-ons before the Marketplace, and there's, like, uh, add some, like, views for the older add-ons uh, for that Marketplace. But, um, yeah, uh, I could never find a Morph mod uh, for it, so... Let's dive in, shall we? Have a quick sip of my drink. Yeah. So this is a uh, quite uh, a simple idea. Oh, it just gives you the goal it's straight up. Um, very simple idea, so I don't think it'll take um, much uh, time to explain it. Yeah, it's one of these. Oh, and I'm in creative. So you can craft the gauntlet with a three for five iron and a diamond. To unlock a uh, mob morph, you uh, need to hold the uh, morph gauntlet and simply approach any mob without needing to interact or attack them. Once you have uh, unlocked a morph, hold uh, and charge uh, while uh, sneaking to access the morph data. From there you can choose uh, the uh, mob you want to morph into uh, and instantly gain its uh, movement, uh, possibility, passive abilities and attacks. So, if I... What? There we go. So we got a human. Oh, we got... Yeah, so I... Oh, we've got a lot. We have a lot of Morthia. I uh, might have to do like a... Uh, series of like a live stream. Just like unlocking all the Morphs in uh, Manila. So yeah, we've got Parrot. And now I'm a parrot. Whee! Can't fly as a parrot. Well, you, you can jump. You've like got slow fall, I think. Oh, uh, you got lower hearts. Let me, uh. Oh, did that destroy my helmet? Hold on. Let me go back to human. Oh, I unlocked wolf. Yeah, no, it didn't. It, didn't, it doesn't destroy your helmet. So don't be afraid of that. Now, well, yeah, uh, I've got wolf now as well, because I walked next to the wolf. Oh, uh, yeah, so that dilling is you unlocking a new... Also got... Oh, we've got fox now, so let's take a look at the parrot first. Oh, if you just press and hold space bar, you fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And obviously you fall down slowly and you don't take damage. He... Pretty simple. Next up, we'll do the fox. Is this next in line? We have, a, we have. A, oh, is that? Yeah. Yeah. So each mob probably has like different amount of hats. What did I just unlock? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, how do I use the abilities? Hold on. Let me place this down and go back into. Oh, hold on. F5. Right. It's not as... Uh, right, so in first person, it's not as good as I would have liked. It would have been really cool if you, like, shrunk down to the size of the mob. But again, these things do tend to be updated, so... Um, hold charger while sneaking to access morph data. From there, you can choose the mob you want to morph into and instantly gain its movement. The past. Yeah, so it has a... Each has a, has a passive ability. I don't know what the foxes is. Uh, it doesn't tell you on here, does it? No. Oh, wait. Can it move item so be like move, drop, remove, craft with this item cannot be lost upon death. So, yeah, that's just uh, talking about that. Hmm. I don't know what the fox does. Oh, 
I think it just gives me speed and resistance. I think. Oh, I know that resistance is from um, the Golden Apple A8. So I think it just gives you speed. Ah, and now we've got. <laughs> now I'm a villager. I do like that you don't have to kill them to get them off. I don't know what the villager special ability is. Hold on, does this does this book book tell you? Okay, so be blaze camel. Oh, wait, what's that? Guy book. This uh, book can be. Oh yeah, it's just a crafting book with two. Uh, yeah, two uh, paper and the dirt. Uh, cat, case spider, chicken, cod, cow, creeper, dolphin, donkey, drowned, elder guardian. Ender Dragon, Enderman, Endermite, Evoker. Ah, here we go, Fox. Uh, hold charge to hunt the nearest entity. Okay, so hold charge to hunt the nearest entity. So let's go find something over. Oh, wait, hold on. Hang. So zero. Oh, Clear. Right, let's find something to hunt. And we'll unlock a few new guys as well. So there's a goat over here we can unlock. Here you go. Yeah, it says down there that got goat unlocked. Oh, sheep. Ah, so you just hold right click. Cool down four, one, charge. There we go. Neat. So let's go back to the village and see what the village does. So I meant hair. Oh, it gives you a hero of the village. Oh, that's really good. More ability charge. Yeah, it gives you a hero of the village, like you can see in the top right corner. That's cool. Um, let's move on to the goat. Oh, it gives you jump boost. I can jump good. Oh, no, I think that's just passive. Do I ram things? No. What does the book say? Uh, are they actually bat, bee, blaze, camel, cat, case, spider, chicken, cod, cow, creeper, dolphin, donkey, drowned, elder guardian, ender dragon, enderman, evoker, fox, frog, ghast, glow squid, goat. The player will now have an unlimited jump boost to effect and the player's base attack will now have a chance to deal knockback. Oh! So if you attack something it can sometimes knock them back. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a goot. What's next? Oh, <laughs> at some point I unlock the iron golem. Let's do him because he's next up. Oh, I have so much health. I am slow as butts though. Okay, I think the slowness is just when you're at low health. I have just a ton of health. Uh, I don't know if that resistance is from. I think that uh, is just from the golden apple. And I've got strength. Oh, I've got slowness again. Why? Why am I slowed? What does the book say about iron golems? Which sure I already saw iron golems from there. No. Let's see, iron golems, iron golem, iron iron. Ah, here we go, iron golems. The player has uh, base attack, uh, will now have a high chance to deal knockback. Ah, weird. Uh, let's summon in something to, uh, 
Not give. Let's be. I don't know what would be good. Um. Let's get a witch. Oh, oh let's just get a game mode one. Get witch spawn eggs. Witch. Did I misspell witch? Is it W H I? Spawn. I'm in creative, am I not? No, I'm not. What? Oh, it's time set one. Oh, it's time set game mode one. Silly me. Which? No, I didn't misspell which. Weird. Oh yeah, I'll look Twitch now. Oh, you can just do, you can do so much damage with just your fist. The reason why I chose Witch is because they, uh, if I remember correctly, they have the same health as a, uh, player. You can use swords on top of this. Also, you take, you, uh, make the damage sound of the, well, neat. Okay. Who's next up? Got the ship. Right. Sheep. Sheep. Where's the sheep? This should this should be organised a bit better. Oh wait, is it enough for A, B, C, D yet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S. Here we go. Sh skeleton, slime, sniffer, snow golem, silverfish. Ah, sheep. Hold charge to change. <laughs> and now I'm black. Now I'm blue. Now I'm brown. Now I'm uh, cyan. Now I'm... Uh, Grey? No. Yeah, I think that's grey. No, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that might be up and grey. Green, light blue, light grey, lime, magenta, orange, pink, purple, red, yellow, white again. They should have had a uh, Jeb sheep in there as well. Oh well. Who's next? Uh, which? Oh yeah, right click you throw a potion. Let's go find something to throw this at. Ah. You. Yeah, you do need the goal on there to use the special ability. To charge. Two, one, charge. And it's dead. Right. Uh, so let's get let's start going from alphabetical order, because why not? Let's take a look at all the different mobs and what they can do. This is gonna turn out to be a lot longer than I thought actually. Uh LA. So the LA. Hold charge teleport to nearby items. Oh that's actually pretty cool, so. Some on LA. And you can fly as an LA. And if I just like say these on the floor. And I right click. Yeah, teleports them to me. Oh, that's such cool. 
Whee! Right, next up is the Axolotl. All charge should activate the regeneration effect. Some on Axe. Axolotl. Lay axolotl. So yeah, except for uh, human, they're all in alphabetical order by the looks of it. Also, we've got settings here. So we've got cust oh, custom camera. Cool. So then, if I do uh, oh, if I do axolotl. Well, it no, huh? I changed. Yeah, custom camera's on. Weird. Anyway, if I right click, oh, I get regen. Also, I have water breathing, so I can just live underwater for as long as I want. Uh, next is the bat. The player will now have an ultimate night vision, of unlimited night vision effect. Someone bat. Bat. Wee, I can fly. And I've got night vision. Can't really see very well, so let me just set time set mid. See? Night vision. You can also see it in the top right corner, but I just wanted to show off properly. Next up is the B. I'll read the button in just a second. It will not time set. E. There you go. Uh, the player's uh, basic attack will now have a chance to inflict the poison effect. So if I... B. Uh, let's get a witch in here. Does the witch still attack me when I'm a B? I think so, yes. Come on, poison already! Be poisoned! Oh, she popped a totem. But yeah, I think, yeah, she got poison. I'm gonna stab her in the face now. I'm just gonna give myself another totem of undying, real quick. Pops. Totem of undying. E. My little buzzy bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, Fant! <laughs> well, at least I don't have to summon them in. Time set zero. Anyway, next up is the blaze. Someone blaze. Uh, blaze. No, yep, he's still aggro on me. It would be nice if, like, if you were a blaze and other blazes wanted to attack you, and yeah, you just throw a fireball at them. Are you enemies? Right, I'm a, but it doesn't seem I am also, yeah, I, I am a mean to fire, which is nice. Oh yeah, ha! <laughs> the noises do put you off a bit when it's a uh, hostile mob. Also, this all just one shots everything. Um, next up is the camel. Um, all right, let me just check what does, I think it is just like, right, uh, blaze roll. Now have unlimited fire resistance, uh, hold charge to throw a fireball, hold charge to dash forward. Now I don't have another player here with me to test this out, but it would be really cool if like, uh, when you were like a camel or a horse or something, you're, like, your friends could ride you, that would be fun. Now you do get slowness after you dash. Which is a little bit annoying. It makes your FOV go whoop, and then whoop, and then you dash again. 
All right, Camel, can you move out of the way here? I'm trying to do a mod with you. Thank you. And uh, next up is Cat. The player will uh, now have an unlimited speed free effect. I think if I just stick around here for a little bit. Oh, uh, there's iron golems in here. Oh, I can't one shot iron golems with this tiny attack. That makes sense. And. dead. Uh, I'm just gonna. real quick. Heal up, give myself another totem, and summon in the cat. Hold on. Um, um, yeah. There we go. Alright, I can now transform into a cat. What was the effect that cats have? Oh, there's a book. Uh, cat player will now have unlimited speed to effect. Yeah! Running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go now to follow my rainbow. Oh, I forgot to do a joke. Hold on. I'm going to do a real quick joke that I forgot to do. I had this in my mind before I started and I just want to do it real quick. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Okay, I've had the... I did my reference. Uh, case Spider. Case Spider. And stab you real quick. Yeah, he's right. The player's uh, basic attack uh, will uh, now have uh, a uh, chance to inflict the poison effect. Let's just get transformed into Case Rider. Yeah, I think you should also be immune to poison. Let's uh, let me just test. Are you immune to poison? Try and poison me. Nope, you're not immune to poison. I would if I was the uh, if I was in charge of the. I hate phantoms, I've got to give myself another totem. Wait, no, I could have... No, I didn't... Yeah. So yeah, if I was the adult maker, I would make it so that uh, spiders were immune to poison. Okay, spiders, at least. Okay, time to stab her in the face. You go there. Uh, chicken, the player will now have an unlimited slow falling effect. I have a bunch of chickens over here. I'll have something else as well. Oh yeah, I got cows and sheep over here. And pigs. So let's do the chicken. I'm a chicken. I fall slowly. Don't take full damage, and right click does nothing. Um, I picked up a mana mix. Yeah. So again, it's probably my favorite, like, classic Minecraft mod, like, uh, also, like, the, like, cow, sheep, pig, chicken. Yeah, uh, the chicken's probably my favorite, that's the passive ones. Anyway. Then we got cod. The player will now have an unlimited water breathing effect. But will I die above land? Odd. A, B, C. Odd. A split. A splish. A splash. A splishy, splishy splash. Oh, air supplies running out. Yeah, you do. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, you do one out of it. That, that is a nice uh, effect. Cow clears any effects from the player. So the cow 
is immune to poison then. So, it's on cooldown. Three, two, one. And I'm no longer poisoned. How did you not die from a stab from my plus 20 attack sword? Are they doing potions of resistance? I don't know. Reaper! Hold charge to trigger an explosion. Hold on. I'm gonna go into game mode one real quick. Turn on three. Oh, it would be good if I pressed tap. There we go. Alright, let's go somewhere. The way I'm not gonna be bothered if it blows up. Oh, there's a zombie nearby. Oh, there's a spider nearby. Let me just transform into a creeper. Time set zero. Weather clear. So hold. Okay, I, I'm in creative. So I definitely didn't die because I was in creative, but what if I'm in survival? If I'm in, I'm willing to bet this will kill me. Oh no, I just did two hours of damage. Oh, some cold out. Ah! It exploded! Alright, uh, let's fly back to base then. Also, I just realised this isn't a uh, creative fly. Just to kind of balance this out, because creative fly is a little bit OP for the morph mod, but having it like be a bit slower than creative fly, yeah, that, that is actually quite well balanced. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it's a limitation of the uh, bedrock engine. But it's a good uh, change anyway. Because so you're, fa you're fast enough, like, you're slower than sprinting. But you, again, you're flying so you can go pretty much anywhere. So I think it's a good trade-off. How is, like, uh, I, I do have, uh, how's mining while you're flying? Yeah, mining's... Not uh, uh, slow like if you're underwater, and I believe the morph mod made it so that if you were flying and you on the on the Java I'm talking about, uh, uh, they made it so that uh, the mining would be slower. Oh, it even changes the paper doll in the top left. That's good. Uh, so we were on the creeper. Next up is Dolphin. The player will now have unlimited uh, conduit power effect. Summon dolls. Dolph. A, B, C. D. Yeah, you have a limited air supply, you have conduit power. Uh, let's transform into something that's not going to die on the land real quick. 
I guess I could go into uh, you you know if you want to if you're really interested in like how fast the dolphin can swim, you can go test download it and go test it out. Is it is it it's like medium expensive this add-on? I think it was like five quid, which is like high. I don't think it's the most expensive, but it's on the higher end actually. If I think about it, there's donkey old chat to get a temporary saturation effect. Actually, there should be a donkey round here somewhere. Donkey. Well, uh, yeah. I think last time I saw him, it was like over in this direction somewhere. I may have had to restore the world since then. Is he over here? Oh no, he's a mule, not a donkey. Some... What? Ah, oh, you. Rat tat tat. And he's dead. And I'm gonna go back over here. Ah, uh, Mimic's so annoying. Oh, I accidentally shot a dog. That's not good, that's not good at all. Anyway. Uh, some dog. Bonk. No, I can uh, transform into a donkey. And if I right click, it gives me saturation, which basically uh, fills up your hunger. So I guess the idea is like you're eating the grass. Or something like that. This area is a mess. Oh! Did that witch drop a potion of swiftness? Yeah, that's actually quite rare. Neat. Anyway. What's left the donkey? Uh, too far. Got the drowned. Someone drowned. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh, he's going after the villagers. Die. Uh, drowned. The player will now have an un unlimited uh, water breathing effect uh, and hold charge to throw a trident. I think I'm also going to burn during the daylight. Uh, drowned. Oh no, I'm not burning. Neat. And then if I hold the uh, right click. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Trident. Unlimited trident. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's that's drowned. I'm a drowned. Holding a totem of undying. The elder guardian. The elder guardian uh, will have an unlimited conjure which power effect, and the hold the charge to shoot the eye laser. Some get for our guardian. Oh no, elder, elder guardian, elder guardian. Oh wait, no, yeah, elder guardian. Oh, I need to kill them real quick. It's funny hearing the drowned being taken. Down. Oh no, what? How did it kill me through the totem? I call shenanigans. Damn you. Oh, that's gonna make it annoying to get my gravestone. Damn. Ha <laughs> ha! It's cooking itself alive. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, come on, that was through a wall. You shouldn't have been able to attack me through a wall. Shenanigans! Damn you! 
Yeah, I'm gonna be right back once I get to my grave stain back. Right, I'm back. So we're on to Elder Garden, weren't we? Yeah, conduit power. And ch laser beams. A, B, C, D, E, here we go, Elder Guardian. I splash around, and so if I go back, oh, okay, uh, let's just, hold on, if I go back to human, F5, and then back to Elder Guardian. Now it does force you into uh, this perspective, but ah, okay, that, yeah, laser beam. I can laser beam. Scroll. It would be nice if I could go into first person now. Oh well. Uh, let's change back real quick. And move on to the next one. Here we have the end of Dragon. Well, I'm off to the end. I'm just going to summon in a uh, set block. Set block and ah, boom, 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 and portal. I'm going to put my arrow on just to make sure I don't die. Oh, I got the Enderman. Well, I'm here. Some on and dragon. There you go. Oh yeah, I accidentally left one of them standing. i just stab you real quick. Eh, I don't need to kill her to get back through. But yeah, maybe fighting uh, the Ender Dragon as a mob might be fun. Ah, oh, come on. Leave me alone. Alright, we have the End Dragon. What can the End Dragon do? Uh, the player will now have unlimited resistance free regeneration 2 and saturation affected uh, effects. Uh, also, an Im immunity from any negative effects and the whole charge to throw in the Dragon Ball. Go on then, Lily. Go on then. He wants to go outside, but it's not exactly so. Go on, Lily. You gonna go out for Wilbur's? Go on then! Go on Lily, there you go. Go on! Keep going! And then she's just gonna sit on the window still, I guess. Right, where is it? There you go, Ender Dragon. Yeah, so, oh, this is this is probably the most powerful um, transformation in this entire game. It's just like, boom! Balls. It's a bit difficult to aim because it does force me into. Uh, hold on, settings. I'm going to disable custom camera. There we go. It'll make it easier for me to aim the fire. Yeah, there we go. So let me just go back over here. Summon the witch in and the, uh, let's blast her with a fight with a net with a dragon ball. Oh, and if it lands, it even the, does the dragon's breath. <laughs> Doesn't do a bunch of damage, though. 
Listen, mind you, the uh, witch, she's probably healing up as well. So it's probably doing more damage than it looked. Right. Anyway, who's up next? The Enderman? Yeah, hold charge to teleport. E easy and simple. Right, Enderman. Hold charge to teleport. We. Does it teleport where I'm looking or is it just random? Yeah, it seems like it teleports in the direction you're looking by some blocks. So, I'm about there. So it teleports you... One, two, three blocks forward. By the looks of it. Would be nice, uh, nice if it had like a longer range, but... Yeah, in the minute it's too difficult to get. Endermites, the player will now have an unlimited speed for your effect. Some... And... Uh... And... Endermites, all one word. Endermite. I, I wonder, do these make you know they don't make you one block tall, unfortunately? Hmm. That's a shame. Got the evoker, hold chat, summon fangs. Some. Um, ev. Oak. Ah. Hey, dead. I've got another totem of undying. Oh, wait, I didn't spell myself a new one in. Yes, good. Yeah. Right, evoker time. A, B, C, D. Evoker. Summon the fangs. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I almost walked in. I'm going to destroy that real quick. There we go. So far, my only like real complaint uh, is that um, your size don't doesn't change with like the morphs. Uh, but I uh, I don't know when Mojang are gonna add it, but they've like uh, added it at this bed. I don't know when they're gonna add this to Bedrock, but they, in Java they've got a uh, command that changes player size. So when that command comes over here, they can probably like update the mod to have that in. Hey anyway, Fox, uh, we've already done the Fox. Frog, hold charger to catch the nearest entity. Okay, some on a frog. <sighs> the whole charge to catch the nearest entity. Oh, there you go. You just look at it and it brings them to you. What I want to know now is by some on mag my cube. Now one of the small ones. And then I use the ability on them. Oh, it does teleport them to you, but you don't. I don't think it does the, uh... Yeah, they're just hitting me and my fawn's armor is killing them. So it doesn't kill them and you don't get a, uh... What do you call it? A, um... Oh, what are they called? Uh... The frog light things. Frog lights? Yeah, you don't get the frog lights from them. Uh, it would be cool if you, if I, when you used it on a small magma cube, you'd get a fog light. Next up is Ghast. The player will now have an unlimited uh, fire resistance effect. Hold charge to shoot fireball. 
I'm going to game mode one real quick. For this one. I'm a flying frog. But now, why can I not? Do I need to be in game mode zero to. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cat, cow, creeper, dolphin, donkey, drowner, and a uh, fox. Ah, gas. I can fly. I have uh, fire resistance and speed. And if I right click, I shoot a fireball. Rich balls of fire. They are unfortunately set. They unfortunately don't set stuff on fire. That. Cool. But it does blow stuff up when it works properly. I think. Oh yeah, it does. This don't think it's as good as a regular gas uh, fireball. You could probably do with improving that. But still, not bad uh, morph. Just find it odd looking in the top left corner and uh, seeing the ragdoll of a gas. Oh. Uh, yeah, hello. Hold on. Uh, ah, there's not Wow, here we go. Oh, no, not shift. Come on. Oh, no, I hit the mimic instead. Come on, die! Also, they're not attacking me now for some reason. Oh, come on! How's that my thing? Three. Come on, there we go. Come on, there we go. And dead. Uh. If I go, if I transform to the cow, I can right click, yeah. and there we go, I'll remove the bad omen effect from me. Right. What's next on the list? Elder Guardian, Glows, Kid Guardian, Horse, Horse. Uh, we did the. Oh, we need to do. We've gone too far. We've done. Just did Ghast. We need to do Glow Squid. The player will now have uh, an unlimited water breathing effect. Some. Glow. And now I'm a Glow Squid. Blub, blub. And you do have a limited air supply, so this is bad to do underwater. Like the human before I become like him. Uh, good, we've already done the good. Guardian, the play will now have an unlimited water breathing effect and hold the charge to shoot the laser. Uh, you've already seen this. I see a bit better now that I don't have to be in the third person and flopping about. When did I see a rabbit? Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, Guardian. I need to find something to shoot my laser at. Oh, oh, right there. Let me just flop over to these guys. Two, one. That was a bit difficult to do. Ah. 
two, charge up. Yeah, it's very difficult to do. Let me just finish it. There we go. Back to human. Also, they should have limited air supply because they can actually suffocate. But the other guardian does I cannot. Uh, Hoglin, the player, will now have an unlimited fire resistance and resistance free effect. Some hog. Yeah, as it says, unlimited resistance set free and fire resistance. Uh, horse, hold charge, jump higher. Some or. Horse, 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 horse. That's a donkey. Horse. Hold charge, jump higher. Oh, power one of three. Cool down four. Hmm. One. Ability charge. Zero. One. Two. Three. Three! Yeah, you got speed, so you run super fast. Next up is the husk. Let's stab you real quick. Uh, fox gets to I ain't going. No, wait, I ain't going too far. Husk! Thus, the player will now have an unlimited saturation effect, uh, and uh, the basic uh, basic attacks will inflict the hunger effect. That well, the hunger effect doesn't really uh, matter when you're playing uh, single player because, um, yeah, it doesn't affect mobs. Doesn't the angle? Llama, hold your charge it to throw a llama spit. Um. Uh, A llama. Uh, spit. Oh, wait. Can I get back here? I'm a llama riding a horse. Oh, I did not think of that interaction. That horse really does not want to be my friend. Uh, let's go witch in here so I can spit on her. Yeah, yeah. get spat on. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stab you now. Oops, wrong one. All right, net move. Next up we have the Magma Cube. The player will now have unlimited fire resistance and jump boost free effect and basic attacks will inflict the burn effect. So, Magma Cube. Oh, and when you walk here, jump. Uh, let's go find uh, some. Yeah, let's go punch the horse. <laughs> and he's on fire. Neat. So you basically get flame for free. Alright, the j bouncing is annoying me with that now, so. Uh, oh, what's after my cube? Mushroom. I need to summon in the mushrooms. Um, 
Moo. Yeah. Got it. Got a balance. Uh, Mushroom play will now have an unlimited saturation effect. Oh, I did not want to do that. Let's show off the mushroom. Mushroom, moo. Moo. Shroomy, moo, me, mooey, shroomy. Where am I? Too far down, I think. There we go, mushroom. Yeah, I have unlimited saturation, I think. Uh, you can see saturation in the top right, I don't believe. Yeah, mushroom. And then if I right click, nothing happens, I think. Uh, uh, mule, hold charge to get a temporary saturation effect. So it's the same as the donkey. Hold charge to get saturation. Ocelot, the player will now have an unlimited speed to effect. Some os Ocelot. Ocelot, here we go. Yeah, speed! I am speed! And that Ocelot still scared me. We. Right, next up is a panda. Hold chair to roll with a small chance of receiving bamboo. Some ham. Panda, 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 panda. Let's go to F5. Whee! Two, one, three. Two, two, one, three. Well, how far can you? Two, one, three. Oh, you can go quite far with rolling, that's cool. But I was not lucky and I did not get a bit of bamboo. Have it. Hold chat to get a temporary regeneration effect. We can share off the parrots real quick. Parrot. Yeah, you can see that it's trying to regen, but I've got a max of three hearts. This isn't really very useful for parrots, because again, max of three hearts. Phantom, the player will now have unlimited night vision and the uh, saturation effect. Three, surely. Oh, yeah, Phantom. Night vision and saturation! Finally, phantoms are useful for something. Fortunately, you don't like fly like a phantom, so you d your body just like move where you're looking. That would be cool if it could do that. So if you were looking down, uh, the phantom would like be gliding down like a... Uh, uh, you know, a normal phantom. Then we have the pig. Receive, uh, receiving an attack will uh, grant uh, the player a temporary speed 2 effect. I mean, I'm not going to bother showing that off. It's just speed 2, but I'll show off that I am indeed a pig. Piggy, 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 piggy. Uh, Pig Lin, the uh, player will now have an unlimited fire resistance effect and regeneration. Uh, receiving an attack will uh, grant to the player temporary uh, speed and strength to effect. So, some pig. Pig Lin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see if I can. Oh, no. Uh, so many. Huh? 
Oh, now he's a zombified piglin. Let me just get that real quick. And stop. I need another totem of dying gear. Add P. Tot. Um. M. Not um. Hold on. I just look like a piglin wearing my armor. Uh, it is a shame they still attack you though. Piglin Brute, the player will now have an unlimited uh, fire resistance mm -hmm. effect and receiving an attack will uh, grant the player a temporary speed and strength free. Piglin Brute. Yeah, he still wants to attack me. Nyah. Ow. Die. Now, we uh, keep going. Ah, wait now. Piglin Brute. Piglin Brute? Wearing my armor. Ah, uh, let's go. And we have Pillager. Hold charge to shoot two arrows. Some pill. I don't know. Oh, I must have already gone to Pillager when they attacked me earlier. Hold on. Pillager, 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 Pillager. Right there. There you go. Now oh, I just died from thorns. Yeah, I'm a Pillager. With my armor. Uh. I don't know, it's only cute. They just like the, uh, them wearing my armor just makes me laugh, I don't know. Polar Bear! The player will now have an unlimited strength effect. Some. Pole. And all the way down we go. Keep going, wait. There you are. Yeah, strength too. Well, strength. Yeah, just regular strength. That's a lot of strength. Boom, boom, boom. Just gonna punch you to death. Polar bear fight! Who's the superior polar bear? I am. Alright, next is the puffer pit puffer fish. The player will now have an unlimited water breathing effect and the dark old charge of at least a po poison effect. Some puff And you're probably uh, gonna die if you're not underwater. Where's the puff there's the puff fish? Yeah, it's flying and then if I just like flop over to this guy and right click. There you go, he poisoned. I showed it off, and I'm back, going back to human before I die. Wow. Rabbit, the player will now have an unlimited speed to effect. Come on then, Lily. Come on then. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Yeah, jump. I think I meant to say jump boost and not speed. No, it says speed 2. Is that, did it mean jump boost? No, that's regular jump boost. If I right click, it does nothing. I think, I think it said speed 2. I think it's supposed to be jump boost 2. I don't know. Rather, hold on, let me get back to human. The player will now have an unlimited resistance to effect. Hold charge to deal knockback to any target. Let me go into game mode 1 for this because he'll probably kill me real fast. Game mode 1. Some rav. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna stay. Hey, got a weapon too. A right click, and I knock him back. It's a bit of damage as well. Oh, I want to be a ravager riding a llama. Right, yes! Oh, I didn't let me stay out for long though. Why? Maybe I. No? Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's kill this guy real quick before we go back to survival and he kills me. Alright, Salmon! The player will now have unlimited the water breathing. Yeah, we've already seen... I'm, not, I'm just going to skip Salmon. We've already seen the sheep. Shulka! You see even a... Receive an attack has a chance of randomly teleporting get a player. Hold a charge to throw a Shulka bullet. So if I... Some... Shul... Some shulka. I stab the Shulka. I stab the God damn it. Alay. I stab the shulker. And then I become the shulker. And I am the shulker. Even the camera in F3 is a bit weird with this one. You just jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. And I can fire shulker bullets. Let's fire them at the llama. Ah. Where are you going? Is he's got splash by his own poison. And not doing any real damage though, unfortunately. So that's a bit disappointing. It was it would have been cool to have some like proper functioning uh shulker bullets, but oh well. This is just a limitation of the game. Uh, silverfish, the player will uh, now have an unlimited speed to effect. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the silverfish. No, it's just... Skeleton, hold and charge to shoot an arrow. Skeleton. Skeleton, 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 skeleton. There we go. I shoot my arrows at ya. Why do I sound like I'm constantly walking on Amethyst? Weird. This player will now have a chance of summoning lightning bolts to any attacker. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see if I can get some scal e scal e tong oh uh, scal e oh. Whoa. There you go, skeleton horse. Some zom. It's me. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Die. 
Yeah, so you saw that, they got light struck by lightning. Slime, the player will uh, now have an unlimited jump boost to effect. Some... Fl Oh, fighting like this is a nightmare! Ah, this is the worst! Also, why do I only have two husks? Aren't I a big slime? Am I only a little slime? Oh, I'm only a little slime. Well, I'm, a, I'm not a tiny slime, I'm a medium slime. Sniff a whole chat to dig up uh, the ground for a chance of getting the torch flower seeds or pitcher pot seeds. Some sniff. Oh. Now I become the sniffer. When I can find it. Here we are. Sniffer. And then I can. Oh, there we go. We got two pitch pod seeds. Does that actually do the animation? Oh, 24, 23. But then there's a long cooldown just for an ability that gets you a couple of seeds that don't really. That aren't really that good. I guess it's better than a normal sniffer seed farm. This guy's not. Do up any seeds yet? Hmm. Oh yeah, he even does the animation. <laughs> Lily. Hmm. Right back to human. And you got snow golem. Hold charge to throw snowball. Some snow golem. Snowball. Oh, I need to. I need to change into the snow golem. There, there we go. Snowball. Oh, cool. There we go. Ah, uh, now I don't put snow underneath me. It would be cool if I could put snow underneath me, like a snow golem. He's really wanting to attack something down there. Bad Lenny! Hmm. I hit myself with my own snowball. Yep. Right. Next. Spider! The player will now have unlimited night vision effect and immediately immunity from the point. Oh, so regular spiders have it, but not cave spiders. Some... Spid. Oh, we had spider, apparently. Oh yeah, I got it from the uh, forest when I went to do the people one. I'll just stab you. Spawn in a witch! Go on, try and poison me now, you! Aha! That's what I thought! Now die! Oh, so I forgot to check earlier. Can you climb up walls as a spider? Now, oh, come on, that's... Oh, wait, yeah, you can. You have to hold spacebar to do it. Okay, that's cool. Squid play out on the middle of the baby. Yeah, they're not going to do the squid. Stray, hold charge to shoot an arrow that has a chance of uh, inflicting the sinus. I'm not going to really bother with Stray because it's just the same as the skeleton. 
Strider play will now have an unlimited fire resistance effect and the ability to walk on lava. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess I could go uh, try that real quick. Well, let me change into something that's some. Uh, let me change into the blaze because that can fly and turn into fire. Right, there should be a strider somewhere around here. I guess I can just summon one. First, let me just kill that gas. Oh, it despawned. Never mind. Some red. Strider. Yeah, I'm nice and warm and I'm walking on lava. Yeah. Oh, so I want to test. TP at P. Uh, wiggle or tab. Tab. Ten. Tab. Tab, tab, tab. Where did I? Yeah, there we go. Yep, you don't take fall damage if you fall into lava. This is actually quite good if you like doing that stuff in the nether. Well, the only like downside is like when you get cold, you go slow. Mouth. It also means you can swim up these lava balls. No, we. Anyway, back to play so we can get out of here. Also, there was a second there where I wasn't immune to lava. No fire. Just a blaze with a gun. What, you never seen a blaze with a gun? Ah, oh, the gun doesn't appear. Ah. Oh. Right. On to the next one. Uh, the block resetting every time I uh, go too far away is a little bit annoying. We did the rabbit, we did the snow golem. Ah, uh, here goes, fire the stray tad- oh! Yeah, we did the stray tadpole. The player will now have an unlimited- uh, yeah, it's just a fish basically. Double fish, it's just a- I'm guessing that's just the same as every other fish. Uh, these players will now have, be able to unlimited water breathing of heck. The player will now have unlimited water breathing and resistance free if you turn into a turtle. Vex so receiving an attack will uh, grant the player temporary strength free, speed free and strength free. Come on then Lily, come on! Silly dog. Villager, hold the chair to get a temporary hero with village effect. Vindicator, receiving an attack will uh, grant the player temporary hero. Yeah, not, nothing interesting with them. They won't spend all year doing this. One new trader, the uh, player, the player will uh, now uh, be followed by trader llamas. Uh, that's all. Okay, let's see. Some on one D T. Uh, 
1DT, 1DT, 1D, 1D, 1DT. I am now 1DT. Yeah, that's it. I have llamas. I get attacked with the llamas protect me. Oi! Huh. Can't really do damage to me. Well, they can't. There's someone in a zombie. Zombie. Protect me, my llamas! Nope, they're useless. Anyway, the warden. The player will now have unlimited regeneration, strength, and saturation effects. Hold charge to release some boom. Okay, this is a little bit risky. Risky. Some. Wow. I just annihilated the round. Warden fight! Sonic boom! Stab, 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 stab. Dragon's helping. Okay, pop my toes. Okay, the warden's still way too strong. Beaten. I'm just gonna go into. Oh, the dragon's killed it. That's good. Just need a moment to organize my inventory. And I, I thought my legs had died for a moment then. Oh, come on, where did you come from? Maybe it, was one, maybe it managed to kill the uh, weakened dragon. <sighs> now I gotta reorganize my inventory! Also, I need to give myself some bottles of enchanting. Give that the bottle 64, because my arm is not looking so great. Keep going. You still have men. Yeah, men then. Yeah, they are getting better. Yeah, they'll do. There we are, the warden. Which hole the den chairs for fair when in the we saw that earlier. River, the player will uh, ha now have an unlimited resistance free regeneration and saturation effects, also an immunity from any negative effects, hold with a charge to throw river skulls. I'm just gonna go game mode one real quick. 
And just get to the other side of this mountain and summon them in, get them and then uh, kill them real quick. Because I don't want everything over here again blued up. Some with Strength sort of fell in there, so far. Oh, this has. Anyways, whatever. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well grab you guys. Yep. There they go, dead. Now I can go to game mode zero. Alright, so I got the wither. Wanna see this? Oh yes! This blew something up. Bam! Oh, it does have a bit of a look. Oh, yeah, that's why I was saying that, I guess it's that. Oh, it's good. Right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can fly. Definitely the best, like, uh, maybe except the end of the day. Uh, and end of are probably tied for like best flying mob. I'd like to see a lower cooldown on the River Skull, so, because you shoot at a bunch Or maybe like Kevin said that you shoot three at a time. Oh no, I did not want to do that. Alright. Excellent, right, so left click instead of right click in. Oh wait, no, I've gone too far. With a, with a skeleton. The player will uh, now have an unlimited uh, fire resistance effect. And uh, we... Uh, we receiving an attack will uh, grant the player temporary strength 3. Oh, I mean, so that um, instead of like... Uh, Game resistance if you attack, I would have made it so that when you attack, uh, you uh, wither your opponent. Yeah, I'm a wither. Got it on. I don't just real I don't just have a stone sword, I also have a gun. Yeah, I well not stone sword is never gem sword, but yeah, not as good as like the prismatic sword I was using before. Probably gonna change it back soon. Uh, we'll receive, an, uh, we'll receive an attack, we'll grant it to the player temporary speed 2 and strength effect. Yeah, Zoglin the player will now have an unlimited fire resistance and resistance 2 effect. Player will now have, zombie the player will now have unlimited saturation effect and the uh, basic attacks will inflict the hug effect. I think that was supposed to be for the husk. That's it, mm, yeah. Zombie pigman, piglin, the, the uh, player will uh, now have Unlimited fire resistance effect and to receive an attacker. Receiving an attack will the player will get speed and strength to effect. 
Zombie villager, the player will now have unlimited saturation effect and the basic attack when inflicting. Well, if I can, I guess all zombies just do that. But yeah, that's everything. Um, yeah, pretty good. Like I said, um, changing the player size uh, when they uh, transform will uh, would be cool. And yeah, or something else that would be cool is it if they like uh, did like um crossovers with other add-ons like being able to like transform into like dragons or mimics and uh, uh other like the mutants mod like being able to do that would be really cool um but yeah also oh anyway sorry um i may be changing up like what the different mobs do like the zombie all the zombies basically do the same thing I like maybe give them a unique thing like zombie piglins you like right click and you might get you get like a random amount of golden nuggets or something like that. Or maybe even they like gold ingots so you can like or like one zero to like zero to like eight gold nuggets and if you are one gold ingot. Or whatever like their job chance is when you're killing them or something like that. I don't know. But I think each like uh, one that uh, could and should have their own unique effect. But yeah, this is this is just like really cool for like messing around with like your friends or like a realm and stuff. And there's nothing in it that's really broken, I don't think. Uh like maybe like just being able to get uh hero of the village effect. Whatever you want me. Maybe you could argue that's a little bit OP, but yeah, you know, I think it's not super OP. Anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, uh, video. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye